This guy is about to deliver the worst guitar solo ever presented to a crowd. His keyboard player is trying to distract the crowd because she knows what's coming. And the drummer is holding back his laughter by overplaying. Could he have avoided this moment? No, because he didn't want to hear the truth. If you are not afraid to admit that you suck at guitar, you are not good. You are boring. Nobody ever gives you any compliments. Nobody wants you to sign an autograph after the show. They skip right by you and go straight to the singer. If you are done with that, if you are done with that, come with me. My top five reasons why you're not getting better at guitar. The first reason you're not progressing is because you play more to show off than you do to connect with the music. When you're constructing your solos, they don't really sound good if all it is is just a bunch of fast notes. The reason why you love the guitar heroes you love is because they play with emotion. Now, I'm not the best guitar player in the world, but I know what playing with emotion sounds like. I do it for a living. Now in that solo, I had, I had moments and flashes of speed, but the connection, how I pull you in is by pulling those strings, making them sing, moving in a melodic way over the fretboard as opposed to, let me see how fast I can move across the fretboard. I'm trying to connect my emotions to my guitar. You're not gonna get better if you're always trying to play perfect. Okay, the second reason why you're not getting better at guitar. You only listen to one type of music. You only play one type of music. So look, you gotta mix it up. I see this a lot. You're literally not giving yourself a chance to be inspired by other genres of music. There are different scales, different chord progressions. You pick your genre and then it's just like you pick sides. That's it, you focus in on that and you just, that's all you listen to and it's all you play and it is staggering your progress as a guitar player. Listen, I love rock and roll. That's my favorite style of music. But I also listen to the blues. I also listen to jazz. I also listen to country. I also listen to hip hop, R&B, soul, funk, metal, folk music. I listen to everything because it opens my mind and I, and I can see that there's really no limitation to music. Okay. This is Future Me, and I just had to pause right here because I'm about to go into a 45-second rant about something that has absolutely nothing to do with my previous point, but it still had to be said. So I left it in. You can't be one of these guitar players that think you know everything, that think just because you know the pentatonic scale, you all good. You're not. What you are is boring, okay? You're boring. And your friends ain't gonna tell you that you're boring, okay? But I'm not your friend. I'm telling you, if all you play is the pentatonic scale, you are boring. All right, I'm coming for a lot of people on this one. I know, I know, I know, but try to keep it together. Reason number three, when you practice, you only practice things you already know. Oh, I'm preaching today. 
and you know it. You know it. You sit up there and you practice stuff that you already know how to play so that you sound good. Instead, why not practice things that you're not good at and see how far that gets you? I know, I know what the reason is. Fear of failure. That's right. You practice to feel more confident in your playing. So you play things that you know how to play. Throughout this entire video, if you pick nothing up, understand when you're afraid to fail, you cannot progress. That's just it. This is reason number four. Okay, this next one, this next one's gonna hurt a little bit because it's one of our favorite pastimes as guitar players. But it really, it really, if we're honest, and I'm trying to be honest, when we focus too much on gear, on equipment, we focus too much on the guitar, being custom made, what type of strings we use, what type of picks, amps we're using, or the pedals, oh my God, the pedals, they just take over. Pedals take over our lives because they have all these different sounds and you're like, oh, this, oh, oh. They distract you. Masking our sloppy guitar playing with a bunch of pedals. A lot of guitar players, do I see it all the time. Fortunate for me, when I started, my mom got my guitar from a pawn shop. Like we didn't have any money. I had a little $20 amp that I got from Walmart or something. So I couldn't afford pedals for the first, I wanna say five or seven years of my guitar playing. And it was the best thing that could have happened to me because I was forced to figure out how to sound good, how to sound clean with just an amp and my guitar and nothing else. There is a huge boat going by me right now. Look at this. Chicago, you know, it's like, <laughs> where, where are we right now? I feel like I'm on an island, but I'm in a city. What a beautiful place this is, especially in the summer, my God. Anyway, let me, let me refocus, let's refocus. Pedals, yeah. Thank God I didn't have money for pedals, cause then I really probably would have sucked for a way longer time than I did. When you're a sloppy guitar player, we know. Like, you try to hide yourself with the pedals, putting on a bunch of delays and choruses and modulation and all of this stuff. And it's like, yeah, go to your clean channel for me right quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, go to your clean channel and then show me if you can play the guitar. Not the gear, it's your hands and your discipline to practice. That's it. And reason number five is pretty simple and extremely important, which is why I left it for last. It's because instead of finding your own sound, your own voice, you're trying to sound like your heroes and it's never gonna work. There's only one Jimi Hendrix. Being inspired by my heroes does not mean becoming a clone. Instead, it means I love them, I'm motivated by them, I learn a lot from them, I take pieces of their style and mix them with mine. I see a lot of guitar players try to be like, let's just use a, a prime example, whole bunch of guitar players, especially on the internet, especially on YouTube, are out here trying to sound like John Mayer. It's like an epidemic of little John Mayer clones everywhere. They're everywhere, okay? And it has to stop. Yeah, leave them alone. Let them slow dance in a burning room. 
find your own style, your own groove, man, because he does what he does. And pretenders look like fools. I do this for a living. I am a full-time singer-songwriter, guitarist, producer, band leader, record label owner. I have my own publishing company. This is what I do. And if you want to figure out how to, how to do this on your own as an independent artist, then this is the channel for you. Press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one because I got a whole bunch more stuff to tell you. If you would like to support this channel, please sign up for Patreon. Patreon.com slash Melody Angel. Thanks for watching.